Um, now we'd like to bring you a case study, um, just to demonstrate collision theory at work for you right now. We've, in, we've invited a very special guest to demonstrate this, a uh, huge star now. I think you'll be very excited when you find out who it is. Please give a warm welcome to Florence from Florence and the Machine. Hi, um, thanks. Um, hi, Florence. Um, there isn't really a machine, that's just a concept. Um, right, what we've asked Florence to do is to prepare a cover version, okay? And this cover version, we said, didn't we? we? We said that it would be something that's very different from your own material to show collision theory at work, okay? So, do you want to um, tell them what you've picked? Uh, yeah, um, so basically, um, like, literally, um, but, like, actually, genuinely, um, uh, uh, what I wanted to do was make, like, a statement about how, like, art and um, popular culture are, like, eating themselves from the inside, like the liver of someone in the Atkins diet. So, um, the song that I've chosen is... Um, uh, it's from, like, the lowest ebb of popular music. So, basically, it's... Um, total shit. <laughs> I stop and stare at you Walking on the shore I try to concentrate My mind wants to explore The tropic inside of you Takes me up and up No, and I look at you Oh, I fall in love Oh my god, that was amazing. That was such a genius cover of my song. Hi guys, I'm Peter Andre. And um, I was just in the building, thought I'd come by. And um, uh, yeah, I thought I'd just tell Florence that I'm such a huge fan of your work. I think you're amazing. In fact, the reason I love you so much, Florence, is because you're totally influenced by late 90s cheesy pop. Uh, no, <laughs> sorry everyone, that's, that's not true. It's um, not like cheesy, it's more like prog rock. You know, like David Bowie and Pink Floyd and shit. Really? Uh, that, that's funny. Um, I hear a little bit, Matt, um, you know, when I listen to your work, I hear a bit more Now 49 and Now 50. Is, is it not that? Yeah, like, it like, come on, every single song of hers is, is a reference to a late 90s disco tune, isn't it? Uh, like what? Um, okay, put me on the spot here, but um, what about uh, track number four in your debut album? How? Hell yeah. <laughs> oh my god, why don't you sing it and I'll, I'll show everyone who she ripped off. Okay, fine. So it goes, um... If you could only see the beast you made in me I held it in but now it seems you said it running free Screaming in the dark, I hold and we're apart You are the moon that breaks the night for which I have to hold oh, oh. What a great tune! On. I'm not the only one who's noticed that, in fact, this song melodically owes a lot to a certain song that goes like this. Don't think that I'm a strong, I'm the one to take you on. Don't underestimate me, boy, I'll make you sorry you were born. You don't know me the way you really should. You sure misunderstood. Don't call me, baby. baby. I had so no obvious. idea, honestly, I swear. God, what is that? Madison Avenue? Yeah, Madison Avenue, Don't Call Me Baby. Honestly, I totally forgot that song like even existed. <laughs> it's just like any shit pop song. It's totally imprinted on your brain till you die. Now, what else did you steal? Um, oh, what about track number seven? Um, uh, drumming song. Drumming song, yeah. Okay, so it goes, um, 
There's a drumming noise inside my head, it starts when you're around Swear you could hear it, it makes such an almighty song Now rhythmically, you owe a lot to Victoria Beckham, let's find out why Open your eyes, boy, you trouble me Oh my god Expensive lies, but you're playing for free I gave you what you want, and true what you need and, and My time never, is a waste and that don't do it so please She goes, she goes, she goes you're out of your mind it's really easy for I'm you. not out of my mind. Gonna show you I'm not crazy by wasting my time. I'm not wasting your time. You're out of your mind. You're out of your mind. Oh my god, that like seriously reminds me of my Levers ball. Yeah, but actually the most obvious thing you're doing is you're, you're, you're stealing a vocal. I mean, you're practically doing an impression of a really famous singer. Oh, God, I can't believe I'm the first person. Look, it's really obvious later in this song um, where you sing... Louder than sirens, louder than bells. You take over. Sweeter than heaven, yeah. harder than hell. All right, watch this. Come on, Florence. Let it out. Here we go. Wake me up. Wake me up inside. Yeah, we do. Wake me up inside. Me. Call my name and save me from the dark. Wake me up. Save my blood to run. Yeah, we do. Before I come unsaved. Save, save me from the dark thing I become. Oh my God, I love Evanescence. <gasps> oh, no, can I just say, actually, and I really think that Victoria Beckham had a really promising start to her solo career. Yeah, I know. And actually, I think that Madison Avenue song is a really important statement about women in society because, you know, you really just can't go around using baby um, terms like that. Florence, 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 Florence. Um, Look, isn't, isn't that your manager waiting at you? Yeah, hi. Oh. <laughs> so, sorry. Uh, 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 what I meant to say is um, I'm an enormous fan of Kate Bush. <laughs> <laughs>